What tool can we use to check for humidity? That is an excellent question, and a lot of professionals get this wrong. So when we walk into a room, you can kind of tell if it's super humid or super dry, super dry, but that's not really scientific, right? The tool that you need to use is a hygrometer. But here's the bad news. As soon as a digital hygrometer is exposed to the air, it's on an irreversible path to becoming inaccurate. So the top of the line hygrometers have replaceable sensors. So when they're no longer accurate or they're operating outside of what you know the manufacturer specifications say, then you just replace that sensor. And those sensors are between $100 to $400. But if you're gonna make an expensive decision based on humidity, you need an accurate reading. Uh, so if you're relying on a professional who's using a $30 off-brand from Amazon, that's a problem. Uh, but even the most expensive ones do become inaccurate. So if you're a homeowner, I don't think you need to spend $600 plus. But if you are a professional and you're advising people on these humidity-related matters and your decisions uh, could regard or could result in a very expensive decision, you need to make sure it's accurate. So basically, every single report I see almost has uh, pictures of a hygrometer that's number one off-brand. And number two, there's no photos or proof that it's operating within manufacturer-specified tolerance. So I can't trust these humidity readings, and I wasn't there. So what do I do about it? Right? My reports have that information. Uh, but it's fairly cheap to get a tool, a hygrometer, that can read within 5% of the actual humidity in your room. If you want to get down to like 2%, so shrinking that gap, uh, it gets really expensive. So if the humidity is 50% in a room, relative humidity 50%, then a really good hygrometer should have a reliable reading between uh, 48 and 52% if it is still accurate. And humidity is really important. It's often overlooked in these mold inspections, especially when it comes to indoor versus outdoor or indoor in one room versus another or up near the ceiling versus down low, uh, affected area versus unaffected area or the attic. You know, in a qualified indoor environmental professional, should be comparing these as part of an inspection. If you're a homeowner, just know that you know, temperature readings are really cheap and easy to get, but humidity readings are not.